So in the last video, some of you guys wanted to know what would some actual practical use cases for 3D AI in its current state be if the topology is still not quite perfect. So I'll show you some of the cool uses that I've found for it in my workflow that might actually be useful for you too. By far my favorite use case for it has been to be able to immediately dig into the rough draft concept sculpting process. Like even if the mesh comes out sort of basic, it's always kind of fun to drag it into Blender and go to sculpt mode and just kick back with some coffee and see what we can do to make it look better. For example, in the last video, the AI gave us this mesh of a knight concept art, and I wasn't really happy with it, especially the helmet. It looked kind of weird and derpy. But as you can see, just after adjusting the proportions a little bit really changes the overall look and the feel of the design, because now we got that more sharp and aggressive shape that I wanted. And the other cool thing is this new design is pretty unique. It's not a carbon copy of the original art it was based off of, but it's also not the same as the raw mesh that the AI gave us. We've kind of made it our own through the manual experimentation with shapes and form through traditional sculpting, which is kind of cool. We can also apply this same idea to the entire character too. For example, we can try making the waist thinner, making the shoulder pads a bit more defined, and maybe changing the shape here too, and bam, look, we're starting to get a nice looking silhouette already. Another really cool use case for AI is we can isolate the small pieces that we like. For example, if I really like this shoulder piece over here, then I can isolate it, turn it into its own mesh, and then bring it into whatever retopology software I want. I personally use ZBrush. If you want to know how to use that, I got an entire playlist you can watch in the pinned comment. And then we can bring it back into Blender, give the edges some depth, create some UVs, and then send it to whatever texture and software we want. I personally use Substance Painter, and if you want to know how to use that, I got another entire playlist for you in the pinned comment. Once we've baked the high poly to the low poly, we can easily just texture different types of metal, try different colors, add scratches, add paint chipping. It's really easy to manipulate a piece like this once we've separated it from the main body. And once you've isolated the pieces that you like, you can actually kind of go back and mix and mash these new parts onto your character to see what they look like. So this makes it really easy to quickly generate basic mesh shapes. So if you just want to try out different helmets or different pieces of armor or different shoulder pads, this is a really great way to just quickly go through that process, allowing you to focus more on the details. And sometimes you get some surprises. For example, I wanted to get this character's face, but that did not happen. But what did happen is instead was this kind of tiara thing, and I ended up really liking it. And I'll probably play with this shape later and try attaching it to one of my characters. You would be surprised what sort of gold nuggets you find while you're going through the motions. So those are the practical applications that I've found with this technology in its early current state. Concept sculpting, prototyping different parts, or even isolating separate weapons, armor, and hats that you can use later on other characters. So I hope that gives you a few ideas on how you can use this to speed up your own workflow. If you're not a 3D modeler, but you want to know how to do this stuff, again, I'll leave a link in the pinned comment to all of my playlists where I teach you how to do this stuff completely free. Or if you don't want to learn how to do this stuff and you'd rather pay someone to do it for you, my team does offer some mesh cleaning and texturing services that you can commission or contract in the description if you're interested. Regardless, hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.